Hey everybody, Chris Henderson here from Northern Tribe Outdoors. And uh, as you can see, the snow is gone. Uh, and wow, beautiful day out. That means that uh, I need to get my yard work done so I can go fishing. And uh, in that light, today is, uh, is going to be a yard work day. Uh, but tomorrow I'm going fishing. And uh, what I want to do is get my kayaks ready to go. Uh, so I can you know get out there and fish the wave walk has been in duck mode uh, and it hasn't been fishing yet and uh, so I need to uh, I need to mount my transducer back on there and uh, in the past I've used the uh, the duct seal method to get my transducer on uh, that's where you use duct seal which is an electrical product for going around the the uh, the places where your electrical pipes maybe come out of your house and you put it around that duct and, and it uh, and it keeps it uh, watertight and it'll stick to the bottom of the kayak and you make a little well and, and you put the, the transducer uh, in the well and then you put some water in there and, uh, and, and it shoots through the hole. And what I really like about that system is that it, uh, you know, you don't have to worry about going up on shore, scratching your transducer, or getting caught in the weeds or something like that. But the reality is, um, I don't fish where there's a lot of weeds very much. I'm fishing for trout and kokanee, and I'm not in the in the mud, in the weeds and all that for for bass. And so uh, that never really benefits. And the other thing is, is that I notice I, I lose resolution. Um, the well itself, uh, on occasion I'll kick it with my foot or something like that so it gets a little leak in it and so then I'm always constantly pouring water on that side to try and keep the thing going on. So basically it's kind of a pain in the butt and uh, while it's inside I appreciate that. Uh, so now I have a, a little bit different plan and uh, I want to show you that. I don't know if it's going to work yet but I thought I'd just throw it out there, let you comment. Comment down below if you think this thing's going to work and we're going to try it out tomorrow. But let me show you what I got going on. So the first thing uh, that I want to do is I want to do a magnetic mounting it to the to the side of my my kayak, and uh, I'm actually going to change the location of it a little bit. And uh, so I want to do that. One of the benefits of doing a magnetic mount is that I'll be able to switch this uh, this whole setup over to a different kayak. So if I want to use the S4, I can put it on the S4. If I want to use the 700, I can put it on there. If I want to use the 500, because I'm mean, using really small water, then I could do that. Um, but I can actually trans, you know, I don't have to have a, a, a fish finder for each one of those boats, depending on what I'm using. Um, so this is a, a round, rare earth metal magnet. And I'm going to put a link in the, uh, in the description down there. It's one of those Amazon links that, you know, if you click on it enough, I might get some money and it'll help support the channel. Um, I'm going to stick that in the, in the thing down below, but um, I think ultimately a square one is going to work better or a, a, or a bar one, um, but I'm going to try the you know, proof of concept using this. And uh, you know this thing's a couple inches uh, tall, maybe an inch and a half tall by maybe an inch and a half around, but I tell you what, um, this thing is scary strong. And what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to attach it to this little L bracket. This is just one of those little nailing brackets. It's like 75 cents at Home Depot or something. And I'm gonna, tra uh, I'm gonna put my transducer on there. But let me show you how this thing sticks. Well, here is the, here's the magnet and here's the bracket. And if you wanna just watch, I mean, it doesn't seem like it's really strong, but um, let me give you an example. Um, it'll hold it up in between my hands. Uh, without any problem whatsoever. So this is a really strong magnet, and my my plan is to put the uh, the attach the transducer to this and uh, have this on the side of the the wall of the kayak. So basically like that. Now you can see it wants to turn just a little bit. I think if I get it really flat like that, it's not going to go anywhere. Um, and uh, Here's how the transducer will sit on there. Just attach it just like this. And I can adjust the angle then uh, however I wanted to. Um, I don't think, you know, the amount of force that I'm going to be putting on it, it's not like I'm going to be going 80 miles an hour. I'm in a kayak. Uh, I'm going to be going 3 miles an hour. And I think this, uh, this magnet will hold this uh, transducer in place. I'll place it all in the back somewhere. Um, and then when I want to 
pull it out, I just pull this off and, and bring this in the boat. But I can put it in here. If it's not adjusted right, um, you can move it down into the water um, just by moving the magnet. We'll look at that again. You can just move the move it down here and put it where you want it. You could really, technically, you could put it on the bottom of the boat that way if you wanted. But I'll be able to put it down here and not even get my hands wet. That ought to work just fine. So uh, we're gonna. I'll show you what I'm gonna do to mount it up. Just gonna screw, uh, drill a couple of holes and uh, and attach it with some zip ties. So here you can see the I have the transducer and it's kind of got this uh, it's got this kind of an arrangement uh, which would be nice to be able to use but I'm really wanting to keep this on the low down for this first uh, effort so my plan is to put it like this and if you can see those holes right there uh, I'm going to put it basically like this and then just use zip ties to attach it and that'll mean it'll have to be angled a little bit but I can change the angle really easy so that shouldn't be a problem uh, and zip tie it in real tight um, so then I'm just having to drill two holes and see how that goes. So the plan is, I'll just be able to uh, attach it like that. The magnet's on the inside, this is on the outside, and then just move it down to where I want it. Uh, reach down the water, get it adjusted about how I want the angle, the angle of the dangle there, and that should just be about right. Well, there you can see a, that's a pretty good angle uh, to have it at, and it might shift around, we'll see. But I gotta think the resolution is gonna be way better than what I had before, and uh, I'm not too worried about it, I'm going so slow that I don't think the angle of this transducer being perfect or not perfect is really going to make that much of a difference. Um, we'll see. So I'm going to try it out tomorrow. So there you have it. It doesn't get any easier than that. It doesn't get any simpler or cheaper. I mean, $14 for this, uh, roughly. We'll see what, the, what it looks like, but it's around there. And then uh, like $0.75 cents for this at Home Depot. A couple of zip ties you probably got in your drawer and uh, voila, uh, you're mounting it to your, to your kayak and you're able to move it and, and uh, be mobile with it. Um, I know they sell some magnetic transducer mounts and they want $85 for them. Um, and what I'm saying is $14 is a lot better than $85 and especially if it works uh, in the low speed. Now, uh, there might be some improvements to it, like I put a little plate in here and so that I get two magnets, then it costs me $28. Uh, I think I can live with that. That's, uh, that leaves me uh, another $60 to buy decoys when duck hunting season comes. So there you have it. Tomorrow's first fishing trip. Going to be using uh, some, uh, some new scent spinners that uh, we just printed up, and I'm pretty excited about that. I'm going to use some black ones and uh, the pink ones. Um, it's gonna, we're not going to go so early that glow in the dark makes any sense, and we're going to be really be up on top of the water, so that doesn't make any sense to, to use glow in the dark this time. But uh, the black and the pink are going to see some, uh, some water time, um, and uh, pretty excited about that. Going to be headed to American Lake. So tune in tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow night I should be uh, having a new video for you. Um, and uh, if you want to try this out, there's a link in the description. And uh, as far as all those links go, hey, click on them before you shop on Amazon, and uh, that'll help me out and help support this channel. Thanks. We'll see you on the water.